If you were born before the year 1996, or on this day in 1996, then you know that today is Throwback Thursday at your favorite bar, which means they play throwback hits, and you tend to have a pretty good time. For those born after 1996, but before 2000, because I refuse to believe that anyone was actually born after the year 2000, you don't have that opportunity to go out to your favorite bar, or you just don't like bars. In that instance, I'm going to bring to you a little Throwback Thursday action. So today we're doing a let's play of Sid Meier's Pirates, which is came out it came out in 2004, and it's a game very near and dear to my heart. Um, this was this was Black Flag before Black Flag was even a glimmer in Ubisoft's eyes. Created by Sid Meier, uh, the sequel to his I want to say 1987 game Sid Meier's Pirates. Kind of same thing, much better graphics, and it's a ton of fun. It's also the first RPG I ever played. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So despite that intro cinematic, this is a sandbox game, and you can do whatever you want. Um, we may end up playing the quote-unquote main story, but there's my cheesy name that I made for uh, my last playthrough of this. All right. So let's let's go with Rogue. I'm not quite good enough for Swashbuckler. I've actually never attempted a game on Swashbuckler. Um, but yeah, that's difficulty. Uh, skill means what you suck least at. Uh, fencing's probably the best, because fencing's kind of important, but I'm thinking about maybe medicine? Wit and charm is utterly useless. Navigation is pretty useful. Gunnery's eh. Um... Uh, you know, I can get so a specialist for all of these, so I'm gonna go with fencing. And let's do War for Profit. These two start dates suck. All the start dates really do is um, determine how many settlements and whatnot there are going to be. Uh, these tend to be my favorite, but uh, we're going to do a slight amount of role playing, as you'll see in a little bit. Um, and that's important for that. So. Technically, this doesn't really matter that much because this is all de uh, determining who you're gonna pick. It just determines who you start out with. But because if you've seen this channel at all, you know I have a giant heart on for the French. And because Bastille is tomorrow, we're playing as the French. <clears throat> yeah, another cutscene.
Alright, so that's an adorable little scene. Now, isn't it? Alright. First things first, gotta get that sweet letter of mark that allows us to legally plunder the ships of our enemies. Which, if this game's historically accurate at all, should be the Spanish, which is why it shows 1640. Aha! Ha, 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 yes, it is! At this time, the Franco Spanish War was going on. And all 1640, which is cool. Dolphin. Blah, 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 blah. Dope. Don't miss them. Ooh. <laughs> fancy, when fancy. What I love about this game is they reuse the shit out of all the uh, character models. So, um, a lot of the most wanted pirates um, in the game were used in that opening sequence, which I think is kind of amusing. The nutmeg. Sergeant Grimmin. Shoot gun. Well, this game's cool. You know, it has all the all the pirate stereotypes, very treasure and whatnot, as you saw. But let's just make our rounds. Okay, no upgrades, and let's sail. All right, so we're gonna plunder the shit out of the Spanish and just fuck the Spanish. Um, I'll pull up a. Minute. So it is 1640. So um. It's not like the, the earlier starts where it's literally all Spain and then just some other shit. Um, there's a decent amount of non-Spanish ports, but for the most part, Spain is the main bad guy in this game. I don't know why anyone chooses to ally themselves with the Spanish. There's nefarious rogues. Um, but, yeah. So we're going to go down to Trinidad, plunge some ships, and uh, have a jolly old time doing it. <clears throat> Without further ado. Now, attacking pirate raiders um, boosts your reputation with everyone. So. Plus, we'll get this crew uh, a little acclimated in combat before we do some serious uh, plundering, I guess. also a brig. Brig is my favorite ship in this game. Always use the rapier for that quick attack. Because the entirety of the fate of the ship is up to two dudes doing swords. And I love how you never actually kill anyone in this game. You just, they just fall overboard. You know, that's weird. Oh, oh, ah, fuck a brigantine. Oh, look at that. Decent amount of gold. Hell yeah. So as I was saying, oh, hello. Alright, so what's kind of cool about uh, pirate havens like this is you can talk to the captain and they'll plunder whatever you want. Um, if, if, I'm pretty sure if you really fuck over pirates, they won't be so inclined to help you. But it's cool, we only took one ship, who cares? And God the sails. Make this little pinnace sail faster. Alright. Now I'm gonna break this down into ten minute segments, so I think I'm gonna stop the first segment around here. And then we'll start part two 